What's up everybody, Trolling Gaming here. So the big story in gaming today that everyone is talking about is that there's been a leak for some massive new game set in the Harry Potter universe. Um, sort of came out of nowhere to me, although I guess it really shouldn't because you do have the Fantastic Beasts movies that are going on right now, which I haven't seen, but I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. I obviously won't be able to show it in this video because I'm gonna get copyright strike for it, no doubt, so I'm sure you can understand that, but check it out. The, su the big surprise is how good it actually looks, and, um... Little secret between you and me, I guess, but some of you may already know this about me. I used to be a massive fan of the Harry Potter franchise while growing up, you know. I read all the books several times, watched every movie, played all the games religiously. I was active on Harry Potter forums. It was ridiculous. It came to the point where I think, you know, at a certain age, when I was maybe 15 or something, I just realized how much time I had dedicated towards it that I just completely stopped and I've been, you know, clean ever since. So, um, yeah, you know, it's like whether... It doesn't really, you know, matter whether you like this series or not, whether you, you are into it still or not anymore like me. You look at this trailer and you just go, man, this universe nonetheless still lends itself so well for an amazing video game, right? You know, you play as some student going to a crazy school, uh, not just for, to teach, you know, to get taught some boring subjects or whatever. No, to actually partake in witchcraft. The school itself is massive, courtyards alongside it. There's a huge forest with mythical creatures, uh, you know, surrounding little town nearby. It, it's, it lends itself perfectly for a massive um, open world RPG type game. Maybe even story driven, action based, of course. It's just, it's the perfect... It's the perfect playground, the perfect setting for a game like that. So, uh, you know, I like I said, I looked at this and I just went, man, you know, this piqued my interest again and I'm probably going to play it if it turns out to be really good. I guess this leak actually very much reminded me, and some of you may still remember this, but it very much reminded me of how Bloodborne initially got leaked. Um, I think that happened a couple months before the game officially got announced, that we already saw this little trailer where the game was still very much work in progress and it showed conceptual you know footage of it but uh, it was called project beast and clearly it wasn't really meant to be shown to the public whatsoever but more for internal usage to you know show off to employees of the company or stakeholders and the publisher just to sort of like you know show how much progression had been made so far i think that's exactly what this trailer was meant to be is that it was not meant to be shown to the public whatsoever and if it was then this was probably some you know strategic marketing leak or something but uh, nonetheless, we were most likely not supposed to see this right now, um, so it's pretty cool that we did. But I think, you know, to me what's so awesome about this, and you've been able to see this direction um, with, you know, movie video games, franchise video games, whatever you want to call them. You've been seeing this happening, or you've, you've, seen, you've seen this happening for the last couple of years already that back in the days EA was notoriously known for this every single game that was based on the franchise needed to come out alongside the movie version at the same time and it meant that game developers were always working on the time pressure the game had to come out at a specific time point that was already set in stone there was no creative freedom it had to completely fall in line with the storyline of what the movie was going to be and it always meant that the quality suffered Certain games in the Harry Potter franchise were pretty decent and sometimes good and other ones were very mediocre. You just never really knew what you were going to get. They were clearly, you know, just being made as an attempt to still get some more money out of sad little fans who love this franchise so much that they didn't just want the movie but they wanted to play a video game alongside of it, right? And I noticed that myself all the time. But right now, that's just not the case anymore. You saw it, for example, with Spider-Man just a month ago, that the game didn't feel the need to actually, or the publisher didn't feel the need to make the game come out, you know, alongside Spider-Man Homecoming or whatever the next movie is going to be. No, Insomniac got full creative freedom. They were able to make the game they wanted to make based on an already popular franchise, um... And when it came out, that doesn't matter. You see it right now. The proof is in the pudding. The game is like the best-selling game this year, I think. Sold better than anything else out there. So video games have reached this stage where they are already huge. They are, in some cases, bigger than movies actually are. It doesn't matter when you release 
your video game. It only matters if it's if it's a high quality video game based on a franchise people love. If if you have both those things, it's gonna sell regardless. That's you already know that. So um, I think it's really good to see video games going in this direction, and it looks like that's exactly you know what this Harry Potter game is aiming for as well. Um, the biggest question that it leaves behind, though, that everyone is talking about, is who is actually making the game? Because, like I said, EA used to own the license, you know, for these Harry Potter games back in the days. But I think Warner Brothers actually has it back now. So it leaves a couple of studios out there to guess between of who could actually be responsible for this. And it looks like the most likely one right now is Avalanche Software, who, by the way, you shouldn't be um, confusing with Avalanche Studios, because that's what I did initially. Avalanche Studios are the people that make uh, Just Cause 4 coming up and Rage 2, and they made Mad Max. But I'm talking about Avalanche Software. Those are um, the people responsible for the Disney Infinity games. And I think a couple of other side projects. But um, recently there was some job listing where I think they were looking for you know, certain people that had knowledge of British culture. So that should be a massive hint that they could actually be the people responsible for this. And if you look at the Disney Infinity games, you can kind of figure like, oh, makes sense that they would be put on onto this Harry Potter project as well, I guess. Um, but it could also be Monolith, for example, who just made Middle Earth Shadow of War. Although I would think that's a bit unlikely, seeing as this new footage we saw just now kind of looked like it's been in development for, you know, about two years or something. So I think Monolith is probably doing something else. Um, although, you know, Middle Earth Shadow of War, it is a fantasy game, so it's possible, I guess. The big one that it could be, and that would be absolutely insane if this was the case, but Rocksteady. We, we don't know what Rocksteady has been working on for like three years now, um, ever since they finished up Batman Arkham Knight. So what could that be? The rumors have for a long time been that it was either going to be a Superman game or Justice League. But what if, behind the scenes, it turns out secretly they were working on this massive Harry Potter game for such a long time? Um, me, personally, I wouldn't mind it because I'm not the biggest fan of superheroes. And I think Rocksteady is by far the best studio that Warner Brothers owns. But um, yeah, you know, like I said, a, a franchise like this and a, and a project that could be of such a huge scale, it deserves to have a, to have a very high, uh, you know, top-tier developer put onto the project, I guess. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see, time will tell, but, you know, I don't think it is Rocksteady, it's more like wishful thinking, it's probably gonna be Avalanche Software, but it would be absolutely awesome regardless. Um, yeah, with that being said, let me know how you feel about the trailer, what did you think about it, let me know in the comments, I'd love to discuss it some more with y'all, and then for now I think I've said everything I've needed to say, so um, let me know if you enjoyed these sort of like gaming news discussions, I just bought some equipment so I can make them a lot more frequently and easily, um, because I'm definitely planning on bringing these back, you know, to do them on the channel a lot more often, so... Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Make sure to leave uh, a like to help support my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going to be uploading next. And then with that being said, thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you again next time.